I've never been in a proper prison. If anything kicks off and it goes a little bit pear-shaped, then it's not going to be a, a friendly place to be in the middle of. Britain's prison population is exploding. It's increased by 22,000 in the last decade and cost almost two billion a year. It just seems a complete waste. The amount of money that we spend to keep these guys in there, this is costing us a fortune. There are some prison work schemes. The government say they want to create more, but in cash-trapped Britain, few offenders graft full-time to pay anything back. The whole purpose of this is to get in there, set up a business, and to get them grafted. So I'm giving my time and energy to see if I can get offenders earning. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, it's Gordon Ramsay. It's taken nine months to persuade the Ministry of Justice to let me try and set up my pilot business in the notorious HMP Brixton. Jesus, the size of that wall. The governor's put the word out about my idea, and a few of the prisoners are curious about my plan to cook on the inside and sell on the outside. I do. Mobile phone, yeah. Brixton is a Victorian Category B prison with 800 inmates, locked up for anything from shoplifting to murder. Mr. Ramsey. Morning. How are you doing? How are you? Mark Westergaard. Welcome Mark. to Brixton. Thank you. Um, OK. Um, you've handed all your personal items into the gate there? Uh, yeah, phone and... Your phone uh, and everything like yeah, that. Passport. Can I remind you to do that every day that you come? Certainly, OK. Of no Let's way. go inside. Officer Mark Westgarth is taking me into the heart of the prison. Here, the prisoners are kept in their cells up to 21 hours a day. If he tries to mug me off, I'll put him right in his place. I'm not about that. No problem. I mean, I'm not here to be made fun of by him or anyone else. A lot of these people believe that they're going to do this and their lives will dramatically change. Get them back. Hey, hey. What do I think about Ramsey? He can be a bit fierce with people that he's working with. Yeah, that's what I think. About. <laughs> I think he would lose a few people along the way. That's how it goes, you know, only the strong survive. Hey, Gordon Ramsay, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Ramsay? The prisoners are housed in five separate wings. I have no idea who I'm going to be working with. If he's come here to change the world, I don't think he will. And I don't think long term it's going to, going to be a winner. And how many uh, prisoners are in here? Uh, I believe it's 220. Wow. Ninety percent of the criminals on this wing have serious drug or alcohol problems. Oh, they'll go hey. to the kitchen and sort it out, yeah? Uh, it's fucking bullshit down there, mate. Oi, oi. <laughs> you look just like you look on TV. <laughs> and you look better with the other tooth then. Thank you. Have you got one in the middle coming? No, no, that's just my gap. That's, that, yeah, that's my selling point. That's why I'm good. Can you cook? Of course I can cook. What was the last thing you cooked? Last thing I cooked was paella. Paella? Yeah, paella. I could cook paella. I could cook... Um, mean lasagna. Mean lasagna. Miss <laughs> Abram, how are you, sir? No, mate, he's working with Jamie Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years ago, I got dealt a dysfunctional card. My little brother became a heroin addict, and my father became an alcoholic. Designs range from disastrous... Your fucking nozzle's got to go inside the bag. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. <laughs> ..to the delectable. 